So she leaves the store. Do we know if there was anyone that she met up with in the parking lot, in the store, anything like that? We believe that she did have a conversation with a person in the parking lot before she left. And then from there, really the, the evidentiary conclusions kind of diverge as to what happened. There have been reports that she was later seen on the side of the road, or her vehicle was seen on the side of the road with a man apparently changing a tire or something like that. So it gets kind of spotty at this. As the first full day after Dana's disappearance progressed, more bad news came, leading anyone who was hopeful she had taken off on her own to lean in a more uncertain direction. Two additional pieces of Dana's clothing, confirmed to be dirty laundry from inside her car, were found on Wellington Road in a grassy area not far from a porno magazine. So there's this older guy from Phillips, and many of whom I spoke to who knew him and worked there, they call him a pervert, right? Now, some of Dana's clothing had been found close to his house, right? Like literally blocks away. Oh yeah, maybe the first street or so away from his street. 